Hello and welcome back to another episode of Average Guys Garage. We're back at the MGB. This will be episode 5 of the teardown if I'm keeping the correct count. Last time we mentioned we're going to start taking out or clearing out this uh, engine bay, identifying and stripping it down. So this may be more than a day's worth of work. We're going to find out. It's about noon, so, and we just had a shower, so it's very hot and humid. But we're going to keep going at it. Okay, so far I've taken out this um, component from the air conditioning. I think it was the dryer, or is it called an evaporator? That's it right there. And then I took out one of the horns. And I'm getting ready to take out the second horn. Here's a, a bracket under here. There's two screw heads on this side and a 716 nuts that's on the back here. So we'll take that out and we'll have both of the, the horns out. Alright, so I've removed the um, screws and the nuts for the horn and then it just comes out like this. And it's got these two snap-on connectors. Just pull those off and you'll have both of the horns out. Alright, so the next step, I think I'm going to work on getting this part of the wiring harness out. It looks like it starts over here on the driver's side, left hand drive. Comes across under here. Goes up. And then inside and travels down that side. So I just want to kind of uh, take a picture of this for later purposes. There's a fuse box right there, or junction switch there, and the wiring harness travels down the right hand side. So I'm going to try to get this wiring harness out of the front part here, at least up to that point over there. All right. All right, it's about um, 1.30, about an hour and a half in, and I uh, just got the hood latch mechanism off. I'm still having a little trouble with this one um, screw head here because it's a positive drive, and I don't have any positive drive wrenches, I mean um, drivers. I've got the wiring harness pulled back through here. It goes right here and then I've removed uh, so far just one of these relays and a fuse so next I'm going to take off this fuse junction here and just keep working my way back try to get as much off as I can today having tons of fun tons of fun Here's a little video just for replacement purposes. This is the near the firewall of the uh, passenger side. And there is a switch right here that has a hose like this that I don't know where that end went to. And it may have been cut. Looks like it'll just come off. So, I don't know if that was pneumatic or not, but I don't know. I'm going to get this larger hose off the bottom. I just took this hose off right here, and it goes around to the bottom of this black canister here, which I'll take off and find out what that is. 
I'm not sure what that does. I'm going to have to go look up some of the exploded diagrams. Reservoir overflow. So that's water in there from 1965. Is that good or bad? I don't know. That just comes right up. And that goes into this switch right here too. So this overflow tank comes around and goes into this switch right here to the back of it. And then there's some electronics coming out of it here. Right here. Okay, so just let me get another look at that. For later on. Okay. Okay, I'm up to this area now. Near the firewall. And I'm going to attempt to take this brake master cylinder off. Don't know what I'm doing with it, but I'm going to try to take it off. Maybe I'll learn something about how to put the next one back on. Well, this may be about as far as I'm going to get today. There are lightning in the background, and you can maybe hear the thunder. There's thunder rolling in. So, I got probably 60%. Uh, found out I'm going to have to go underneath to remove the um, brake lines, even here for the front. Uh, that brake line that's going under right there has a um, screw going in. I'm pretty sure this one over here will be doing the same thing. So that was probably about four hours of figuring stuff out. I got this loose here. I took out a cotter pin that was holding this on. There's a switch here. That it's for the brake uh, or the brake or the clutch brake that tells you maybe that sends a um, signal to your brake lights. I don't know. Um, I took out the two bolts over here that hold this on on this side, but there's more holding this bracket on here. There's one on the bulkhead there, one back there. And then the two on the side here actually come from underneath inside of the cabin. So I think that's about all I'm going to get to today. Thanks for staying with me today. Thanks for watching. Bye.